My tripod want to act up. Y'all, that's my towel. Sorry. <laughs> This tripod is crazy. I'm going to see if this is going to work like this. I got to get a new tripod. Good morning. Good morning, Soul Squad. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night, wherever you are. Hey, it's time for Thursday morning check-in before 12. Hey, Sleeping Star. How you doing this morning? Time for morning check-in before 12. Hey, fam. Hey, low life. I see a couple names I missed, but what's up, Soul Squad? Andre, Sleepless Star, COVID-11, because that's why I call you. <laughs> good morning, good morning, fam. It is Thursday. Good morning to you. Hey, Michelle. Hey, Christy. Hey, Angela. Hey, Shelly. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You know, <laughs> hey, Jazz. Stay. Hey, Black and Bipolar. What's up, family? How was your night? How did we wake up this morning? Thank you, Miss Michelle. I I'm glad I could help. I'm glad I can help. Y'all saw that title. I'm glad I can help. Good morning. Good morning. I mean, I woke up good this morning, even though I ain't going to be until about 3 o'clock. Hey, Miss Bird, 3 or 4 o'clock, looking at this deck on Apple TV. But um, I drifted off. Don't know what time I really went to sleep. What's up, Miss Dorothy? But I knew it was after 2.30. Um, and then I slept all into this morning, to 7 o'clock this morning. Hey, my Libra sister, Shirley. Hey. Hey, Zaza and family. Good morning. Thursday morning check-in. Where's your mindset at this morning? How are you feeling about yourself this morning? Are you feeling confident and uplifted and having faith in yourself this morning? Let's talk about it, okay? This is a word of encouragement every day. These check-ins is to encourage you, to let you know that you are important to someone. You are important to yourself. Start with self-love. You know what I'm saying? Be your best you you can be. Motivate yourself. Advocate for yourself. You know, be selfish sometimes. Think about you. You come first. And before all of this, and before we get started, you know, we got to do what we didn't do. If you didn't do it yesterday, because I did it yesterday, because I did it with you guys. So you can say you did it yesterday. I'd like to thank God for waking us up to spend another day with our family and friends because that alarm clock didn't wake you up. He did. Can I get an amen? Amen. And before someone say, well, my alarm clock woke you up, no. He woke you up so you could hear that alarm clock. Okay? He put that in you. Thank you, Miss Bird Girl. I never, I ain't trying to get nothing to the top. I never... <laughs> First of all, I, I never um I never put a video with so much controversy about this damn red wig. Just to say, it's a challenge. I bought the wig to do the challenge. It's not an everyday wear wig, okay? It's not that I'm going to put it on every day. I will TikTok. I'm trying to be reveling out in these social media streets. I'm trying to keep up with everybody else, and I'm, I'm, I'm behind on that challenge. But, you know, it was just something that was bought to do a challenge. I know it's not for everybody's taste. I don't think I got you. Man, comments are talking about I got yes people. They're going to say what you they gonna say what you want to hear because they just gonna laugh at you behind your back um uh, it was a whole lot of different comments but the best comment that i love and then she ended that i love you still and i love you too girl because that comment made me laugh so she said with the birds chirping in your background they want their nest back 
mad because y'all know the wig was all over the place. <laughs> and I, you know what, little life? I laughed at it. She said, but I still love you. And I said, girl, I love you too. It's, you know, it was funny. I, you know, I did it. I felt good about it. Um, and like I said, it was all about a challenge. And you know what? And guess what? I'm glad the video is giving controversy. I'm glad the video is being talked about because the more people talk about it and spread the word how ugly I look in this video or whatever, people come over and watch it. And, that, and that's what I want. I want the numbers. I want the views. I'm trying to be this title that we got today. I'm trying to be unstoppable. Okay. Hey, Valerie, good morning. I'm trying to be unstoppable. I'm trying to live my best life. I'm trying to get up out my financial, um, my financial work, woos and worries. I'm trying to be a better me. So yes, let them, let them talk. Let them come. Let them watch. Let them give me the numbers. Let them give me the comments because what I'm trying to be is unstoppable and you can't let nobody else stop you. You got to be on your grind. You got to do what's best for you. You know what I'm, that's right. What matter is the views and, and I'm here for the views, boo. I'm here for it. I'm here to do the little challenges to, to, to I'm doing something that's not me. Um, when I do these challenges, the dance challenges or whatever challenges, I am so going outside my comfort zone. I am so going outside this box. You know, I am discovering a different me that I'm not afraid to take chances, that I'm not afraid to, you know, to do something different, that I'm discovering that I could be adventurous. You know, I'm discovering that I could be spontaneous because a person who I am and I know who I was, I'm not a spontaneous spontaneous type of chick. Sometimes I don't have the best confidence in myself. So, and I know I'm not adventurous, but I'm changing all that. I'm trying to focus on who I want to be. I'm trying to focus on to get my health, my wealth, and everything together. And to do that, I got to I gotta step out, you know, my comfort zone. You know what I'm saying? I got to be a little bit different than who I'm used to being. I'm trying to be, again, unstoppable. Don't let nobody hinder your dreams. Don't let let nobody hinder your thought, your faith in God, your faith in yourself. Don't let no one come into your life and hinder your spirit. You know, we want to be the best people that we could be. So if it takes for you to be uncomfortable, if it takes for you to um, do things that people are not used to it, so be it. If they can't get with it, that's their problem. Don't let no one stop you from being you. The new you, the old you, whatever you you're trying to produce, whatever you you're trying to be, be that you for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you are the key to your own happiness. You are the key on your long life, on your long life journey. It's all about you. It's time to be about you. It's time to let certain people go who wants to hinder you. Be unstoppable. And, and I, let me tell you what I got this word unstoppable for today. I was scrolling through my TikTok because y'all, I apologize. My biscuit video will be up today. I made the video. And if you're on Discord, my Discord people got the first look of the end result of the of that biscuit video. So stop following us on Discord. I set a plan up with that. If you're on Discord, you're gonna get the first. Um, you're going to get the first thumbnail of the upcoming food video. So I started a plan and I say, I'm going to stick to it. I'm trying to be consistent. I'm trying to, you know, being consistent is outside of my will zone. You know, it's something that I lack of, but I'm trying to be unstoppable. I'm trying to change. I'm trying to, I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be me. I'm trying to be a better me. If I'm going to be an entrepreneur, if I'm going to play this game of social media and let me be what they call a social media influencer, it's time for me to step up. It's time for me to do my part. You know what I'm saying? So I have no one else to blame, but me, if it doesn't go right. So, yeah, so everyone who's on Discord already saw that sandwich, and it looks amazing. And guess what? 
I didn't even eat it <laughs> because I'm trying to hold myself accountable because I'm, I've am i been doing intimate fasting and I kind of been messing up with my intimate fasting, eating out the eight, being up on these late nights, making you want to get a midnight snack and all that type of stuff. So I've been giving into, you know, I've been giving into that. I've been giving into my cravings. So when I made that video, it was like nine, 10 o'clock at night when I finally got to make that video for my friend. I'm going to say it's like, eight it was like nine o'clock and so when i went in the kitchen i finally got myself together and i know it was when i finished it was nine but when i started the video it was like 7 30 and i was like man by the time i finish this video it's gonna um oh as i said by the time i, I was reading somebody comment i'm sorry y'all i said by the time i finish this video it's gonna be way after eight o'clock I said, and I want to get back on my instant fasting. So I pulled out some cereal. Before I made my video, it was like 7.40. I said, I got to get this last meal in before 8 o'clock because this is going to be my meal for the night. I got to get back on my intermittent fasting. So I pulled out a bowl of cereal, ate a bowl of cereal, got comfortable, drunk some water. I know cereal and water don't go together, but y'all, I can't live without my cold water. Ate a bowl of cereal. Drunk some water and then made this video and only made three sandwiches for the three um, sons that was here. My four sons at work and I made three sandwiches and my sister said, you ain't eating now? I said, I don't want now. I said, I know it's, I know it's good because it looked good. But I gave it to all three of my young men in my house and I'm because I'm, tr I'm trying to be a cannibal for my weight, for myself, because it's things that I want to do, and it's one important thing that I want to do in June, and I know it's going to be physical, and I and I, I said, you know what, I, I got to do this, so I want to be unstoppable, I don't want anything to stop me, I don't want my weight to stop me, I don't want me, you know, sacrificing myself to stop me, sabotaging myself to stop me, I don't want my overthinking in my own head to stop me. Now, I got that word this morning from a young lady called Peach McIntyre. If you guys don't know her, and I know you know her because she's been all over YouTube with this, I am, a, um, I'm, I would say, I'm married and got a husband and seven kids. That's her little macho thing and all of her stuff. Well, she was on TikTok this morning because I follow her. She was on TikTok this morning. And a lot of people give her a bad rap. And sometimes, you know, I could, she could, I could blame her for some of the things that people say to her. But she's not wrong all the time. She is not wrong all the time. She do speak some good stuff at times. And like this morning, I was on her TikTok. And she talked about, you know, don't let no nobody stop you. I'm not, I'm not letting nobody stop me. I want to do what I got to do. But she said, don't let nobody stop you. I said, let's be unstoppable. That's what I told to her. But she don't know I told that because I was just listening to her. I said, that's not stop. Let's be unstoppable. I said, you know what? I'm going to bring that to my soul squad. It was profound and it hit me because I felt like somebody need to hear that. I need to hear that. When I watched her this morning, because I was uploading my TikTok video on my biscuit sandwich, I put a reel up this morning on TikTok on my video, and I read, and she was live. And I said, and every now and then I'll peep in her live to see what she got to say, what she got going on. And a lot of people do her bad justice because they do come from her, but sometimes her stuff be on point. And listening to her this morning, I felt that word. It was something about that word when she said she's not going to be stoppable. And then I was like, no, boo, you're going you're going to be unstoppable. And I say, I'm bringing that message to my Soul Squad member. So I want to let you guys know where it came from. Because sometimes we could find the most profound things in the most likeliest places. And I found that this morning. And I felt on my heart that someone in my Soul Squad and even myself, it wasn't just y'all, me. When I heard that, it triggered something in me. It made me want to go harder. It made me want to have better faith in myself. It made me just want to, girl, you stay, stay on it. Do what you got to do because, yes, I want to be unstoppable. I got goals. I got dreams. I got things that I want to do. And if I keep letting things get in my way, keep letting people hinder me, keep letting myself hinder me, I will be stoppable. 
I will be stoppable, but we don't want to be that. We want to be unstoppable. We want to go. You want to be like that train. You know, that train is going to try to get up up the hill. Uh, what's the name of that train? Say, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Every time you think that you can't, be Thomas the train and know that you can. Let me say this again. If you're not hearing in the back, it's for the people that's in the back. Every time you think that you can't, be Thomas the train. I know I can. I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. I think I can. And you're going to climb that hill to success. No matter what your success look like, whatever you have plans for your success, whatever success you have built up in your head, your dream, climb that hill. Because every time you think you can, I want you to think that you can. I want you to know it. I want you to live by that. I want you to know that you are unstoppable, that you are a beast. That you are somebody to be reckoned with. Let these people know. Let them know who you are. And they will hear you. But most of all, hear yourself. Hear yourself. Know that you can. Can't just is never worth for I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Yes, Miss Bridget. Yes, and if you keep God in your life and you have faith in him as he has faith in you, you will go far in this world. There will be nothing that will not stop you. Thank you, Stacy. I just felt this. You know, every morning when I come on here, I be thinking and I let my overthinking thank me. Dang, what I'm going to talk about today? Do I have something to talk about? And just when I'm thinking that this is going to be a boring conversation, it may be a repeated conversation, something happens, something triggers. And like I said, I was minding my own business on TikTok, uploading my own video, and it said Peach McIntyre Live. My video had just got uploaded. I said, let me see what she's talking about. God sent me in that direction. See, I followed that. I did, and I didn't listen to other people say i didn't say oh i don't want to see her live because she just be so negative sometimes she don't she don't know what to say out of her mouth i didn't do that when i saw her live and i saw it i said you know what let me see what she got going on today without her doing that live this morning I wouldn't have been able to bring this message to you because I was lost in the souls. I didn't know what I was going to do or what I was going to say, but I knew because I want to be unstoppable. I knew I was committed to coming on this live this morning and doing this morning check-in. And when I heard her, I just felt it. I knew it. I was like, I needed this. And if I needed this, somebody else might need this. So girl, we're going to let people know they are unstoppable. They are unstoppable. Be unstoppable. Because when you think you can, be that little engine who could. You know you can. Get up up over that hill. Stop doubting yourself. Stop putting fear in your heart. Stop letting other people hinder you. Do you. Do you. That's what I wanted to get out here today. You know what I'm saying? And I am enjoying doing me lately. You know, I, I'm looking at myself in the mirror in a different light. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling uplifted, upbeat about everything that I got going on. I am feeling better about posting videos. I am feeling better about my consistency. I am feeling better just trying to be a better me. And I need you to do the same. I need you to get this. This is for the people all the way in the back. You know, this is for you guys all the way in the back. I want you to hear me because if you haven't heard anything else I ever said before in this channel, I want you to know that you are unstoppable, that you can live life to its fullest. Y'all, this is, oh, today is March 13th. Time is going by. It is going fast. It was 7:10 last night and it was nothing but bright light and stars and daytime outside. Okay. Nobody is waiting on you. Not even nature. So why you think you need to wait on your dreams? Nobody is waiting on you. Life is moving on. Stop waiting. Stop putting your dreams on the back burner. Stop second guessing yourself. Be unstoppable. Be that person that you know the day the 14th. Okay, yesterday was the 13th. <laughs> Look, I'm up in the moment, no, like the day the 14th. Okay, yesterday was the 13th. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, Miss Teresa. Hey, Miss Ethel. <laughs> happy Thursday. Yes, happy Thursday. I'm fine. <laughs> it always take low life. It always take low life. What's up, West Coast Cali? But if I seem to be all over the place and I seem to be just a little bit too hype for somebody, I'm not sorry. Sorry, but not sorry. Because y'all need to feel what I'm feeling. You need to get this energy. This is a good feeling. You know what I'm saying? It's a good feeling to have confidence in yourself, to be confident, to shine. Because when you shine, that aura that you put off may help a next person shine. You know what I'm saying? When you shine, that energy that you put out because you're having a great day, you're feeling confident about yourself, you you know what I'm saying? You holding your head up high. That energy that you put out into the world when you run into someone, man, it's gonna it's gonna bling on somebody else. You're gonna give that to somebody else. It's gonna be an atonement for someone else. Hey, Sandra J, how you doing? So that's what I wanted to say, y'all. I, I just felt like it. You know, even when I never know, I get hit. Hey, Miss Michelle, I love you too, girl. I do. I tell you guys, and I got to tell you guys, I might, somebody just say, oh, you just say you love people. Somebody love you. I really, really feel for you guys. I also might put that there. Thank you, Stacy. I really feel for you guys. I generally have real feelings for you guys. Man, we've been here through the thick and thin. We've been here from the beginning. We really, we really, we really bonded through that pandemic and really got to know each other. I'm like, you guys are extension to my family. You're not just my soul squad member. So when I tell you I got love for you and I got nothing but your best interest in heart, please, please believe me. I'm just not talking because she's a creator. She's doing for entertainment. She's looking for something. I generally believe everything that I say to you guys, and I generally going to live my life through that. If I could, if I could feel a certain type of way, and I could give this energy to you through your, how you looking at me through your computer, through your tablet, through your phone, through your TV, I want you to feel what I'm feeling because you could feel the same way. You could feel the same way. Yeah, so somebody say 2920. <laughs> man. Don't typo me. Typo. <laughs> we may still be here 2920. Hey, you put it up there. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. But I just want you guys to feel happy about who you are as a person. You know? Thank you, Stacy. Thank you. You know, I just, I, I, I got that and I ran with it. It just touched me so, it just touched my soul when I looked at her this morning. And I needed that from her. You know, when she got on live, she didn't know who she was going to inspire. You know, I needed that for her. Didn't even know I needed that. And I felt like you, I need that. Someone out here, like Miss Michelle said, I need this today. That's why we doing, hey, Crowpot Queen, that's why we doing morning check-in. Because when we wake up in the morning, we all don't always wake up with a happy thought or with happy feelings. We Sometimes we take, sometimes we take stuff from yesterday and to our today. We don't mean to, but sometimes we have to. And then you're waking up with that same old feeling, but yesterday, I need you to wake up refreshed. I need you to get this. Set an affirmation for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Girl, ain't that something, Susie Q? It was, good girl, yes. I know it's going to be a challenge. Pray and hope it be better than the world we're living in today. Because we got future generations that will someday be living in that time. Will be. That's good, Michelle. Cry happy. You know why? We need, man, crying and laughing does not always got to come with sadness. You know what I'm saying? We cry when we're unhappy. We cry when we're sad. But we cry tears of joy, too. See, that's what we need to do a lot more. Everybody don't always... A tear does not always need to bring you down. A tear don't always need to bring you down. A tear can light you up because you're joyful, you're happy. A tear falls down your face don't always have to mean that you're upset about something. It could be a tear of joy, a tear of happiness, a tear, a tear of relief. Your body is releasing something. So let it release itself. Don't be afraid to cry. 
You know what I'm saying? And sometimes we need a good cry. And then as you crying, that cry might turn into the best laugh that you ever had. Because then you're not understanding why you're crying. Because then you're laughing because you think you're being silly. But baby, you're being human. You're letting it go. Do you, be you, feel good about your, what you're feeling right now? Hey, Prince Ty, what's up? Feel good about what you're feeling. I was crying this morning. My girl, one of our Soul Squad members, Miss Morgan, sent me a reel this morning um, with this lady on the Steve Harvey show. Him and T.I. was helping out this lady who had so many unfortunate things going on in her house. Man, I was crying this morning. As soon as I look at that video, yes, crying is good for the soul. It's cleansing. You're welcome, Michelle. You're welcome. And I was crying this morning, crying like an old baby on somebody else's stuff because I felt the love that she was being given. I felt her generosity. I felt that she was grateful. And I felt that. And I was laying here looking at this video and just crying. Couldn't control it. I was just crying. You know what I'm saying? So cry, let it out, be happy. Hey, Raquel, how you doing? This, no. Yes, I feel good. Tired of letting other people break me. Yes, Miss Faith. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Let people know that you're unstoppable. Don't let them know that they worries and they woos are not your worries and your woos. Now, I ain't saying don't care for nobody. I ain't saying don't have empathy for someone. But make sure that you stand on ten toes for yourself at all given time. See, I never stood on ten toes for myself. This is a new me. I'm just starting this. I just developed this. I just came into this into this in the early 2017 2018 that I know that I need to stand on my 10 toes with myself I just start knowing my worth I just now started believing that I deserve better I didn't believe that I deserve happiness that I deserve better that I deserve stuff because things always come to me hard I get hard no matter how no matter what I do for people how I'm nice to people I always still get hit hard but now I know now that I know, I believe in myself, I know my worth. I know what I'm doing out here in this life. And I am going to be so unstoppable. No, I'm not going to be so unstoppable. I am unstoppable. That is just how I'm... Uh, Sally, I got... <laughs> down on business and here come my tie i love it because we we need to laugh we need to cry we need to release our spirit into the universe we need to let other people shine and let them feel what we're feeling <laughs> let everyone around you know you're unstoppable but you know how you let people unstoppable you ain't got to tell nobody you know why your actions your actions will show them that you're unstoppable. I don't want you going around with a big old t-shirt saying, I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. When you do that, that means you're stoppable. We ain't got to flaunt that I'm unstoppable. Your actions will tell someone. The change in your life will tell someone. The way you hold your head up high, the strut in your walk will tell someone. This person got something going on, and I want some of it. Then they're going to come to you, and they're going to ask you, why you're so happy every day? Why every time I see you, you got a smile on your face? What do you got going on? Because I need some of that. And then you do what? You don't gatekeep it. You let them know. You let them know. Go watch my girl Sober T on Sober T Vlogs. She's going to tell you everything. <laughs> Look, I'm unstoppable. I had to promo myself real quick. 
No, you just let them know how you, you know, how you're not letting people stand in your way anymore and how you do, you know what, you're taking care of self. That's how you let them know. Your, your, the way you walk, the changes in your life, you don't have to wear a, you don't have to wear a t-shirt or have a banner that say I'm unstoppable. Your actions, your actions, the way you handle yourself in this world and the way you treat people, they will ask you. And then when they ask you, just let them know. You know, I'm changing. I'm taking care of myself. That's right. Self-care is important. I'm, the, I'm, I'm finally decided to look after me. Me. I'm number one. Because at the end of the day, if you don't self-care yourself, if you don't take care of yourself, how can you be there for anybody else anyway? You know what I'm saying? How can you be there for anyone else in your life if you're not doing the right thing, if you're not focusing on you, if you're not taking care of yourself, if you're not being unstoppable, I, how can you do anything else for anyone? Do you. Do you. That was our word for the day, guys. Our word was about being unstoppable. You know what? Every day when I come on here, you know, this thing is about self-love. Like I said, because you're self-loving on yourself, you don't have to, you don't, you don't not have to love nobody else. You don't not have to be there for somebody else. But I'm saying set your limits. Set your boundaries. Don't get dragged into everyone else's mess. Because, honey, <laughs> you're trying to be high on life. We ain't always kind of puff, puff, pass. But when you puff, puff, pass it, make sure you puff, puff, pass it that you're unstoppable. Make sure you puff, puff, pass it that you got this. You know what I'm saying? Holding your head up high. Yes, 2024, be unstoppable, family. Be unstoppable. Live your life. Don't let nothing hinder your goals, not even yourself. Radiate positive energy. You know what I'm saying? Let it glow and shine up on you. But people will know. But I'm taking, when you think people not watching, people are watching. People watch you. That's how they that's how they figure out what's going on in your life. So while they're watching you, let them watch you step into success. Let them watch you step into your best life. You're that new model on the runway and you're priceless, baby. And you're with that with your dreams. Live your dreams. No, and I don't care, Teresa. Let them think of self, um, self love is not selfless. It's you finally stepping out and taking care of you. We only get one life, okay? And you do sometimes get a second chance at it, and that second chance could be that you know what? I'm about to change things for myself. I'm about to walk with my head up high. This is my second chance that I'm giving myself, and I'll put people on the back burner. And if they want to think that you selfish, well, so be it. That means they selfish because they don't care about you loving up on yourself. They want to take all of your energy and they want to drain you so they could just have it all for themselves because they need to pick up. It's nothing wrong picking someone up. But while you picking that person up, don't forget to stand up and be you. Don't forget to pick yourself up too. Don't let yourself get dragged down with them. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing wrong with picking somebody up. But while you're picking them up, Make sure you stay up. Make sure you stay up. Yeah. Don't worry about the naysayers. There will always be naysayers. There's always going to be somebody somewhere who has something to say. The world was built on naysayers and opinions and facts and this and that and the other. And we have to stop letting those things guide us. We have to live our life. We got to live our best dreams. We got to stay focused on who we are and the things that we want. Because the more you stay focused on who you are, man, let me just tell you, the more you can give for your family, then you better do the things that you want to do for your family. Because a lot of us got generous hearts. We got generous hearts, but sometimes we over give when we don't have much to give. But if you be unstoppable and you live your dream and you get yourself to where you need to be at, man, you better share that with your family. Man, you can share without giving it all away, without some of it just like, okay, I'm just giving it to you, but I ain't got nothing. Order for you. To be there, you got to first take care. You do you. You first got to live your dreams. You got to be unstoppable. 
You can't let no one else hinder you. And if they, they, they believe that to be selfish, oh, well, then I'm a selfish person. But you know you're not. You know who you are and you know what you're doing. I told you, you get one life in this world and we do get second chances, but make sure that your second chance, you do what you need to do for yourself, for yourself. You know what I'm saying? For yourself. Now, with that being said, I hope I uplifted someone because I really truly, I ain't going to say, I don't care what they say about Peach McIntyre. The girl do what she got to do on social media. It be things that I don't agree with, but that's my opinion. That's her life. I don't have to agree with everything that she do, but it be some things that she be on point about. And this morning, baby, she was on point. I agree with everything she had to say. You know what I'm saying? So I knew I had to bring this to you guys. I knew I had to tell somebody this because I felt it. She made me feel it. I want to make you guys feel it. I want you to know that you are love. I want you to know when you look in that mirror, you are resonating the best you possible. That you are doing everything to, that you deserve that glow. That you deserve happiness. You deserve love. You deserve financial wealth. You deserve to live your dream. When you look in that mirror, put an affirmation, put a sticker. What is the first mirror you look in to, in the morning? Have a little um sticker up there, a posting note. If you need to, you need to be reminded of something, remind yourself of something. Put a sticker somewhere. When you get out that bed in the morning, you go to the bathroom, have that sticker on that bathroom mirror because that's what, that's going to help you start your day. When you look at that, that's going to help you start your day. You're reminding yourself Matter of fact, everybody put, the, put this somewhere. I am unstoppable. Not just for 2024, but the rest of my life. I am unstoppable. Pin that somewhere. So when you feel like you're feeling down, if you feel like you need a word of encouragement, have this pen somewhere. Put it on your cell phone, in your notes. Put it on a sticky pad and on your on your um, mirror. Put it downstairs on your refrigerator before you open up the refrigerator door. Put it on your front door. Before you leave out that door in the morning, you got this paste to your door, tape to your door. I am unstoppable. So when you walk out into the world, when you open that door up and you step your foot out into that world, you're stepping out in confidence. You're stepping out in joy. You're stepping out in faith. You're stepping out. That's our word. I am unstoppable. Put it somewhere. That's right. That's right, Sandra. That's right. I love that. She said, let me see if I get back to it. She said, confidence is something you decide to have. You can't always wait for someone else to come along and encourage you to be all you can be. That's right. That's why I said you got to be your best advocate. You got to look, you got to pick yourself up. So with that being said, put that somewhere where you can see it that is visible to you. Because I'm going to let you know, you guys are unstoppable. You guys are amazing. And I love you so much. Yes, they said she about to go. Yes, she about to go. I told y'all, I'm going to be, I'm going to check in. It's supposed to be 30 minutes. And I hope that this hit home for somebody because it hit home for me. Uh, so let's see, for On the Couch, can we do a review? Yes, we're going to do. Yes, we're going to get through the summer, y'all. We're going to get through the summer. We're going to get through everything. We're going to take every every day, one step by step, day by day, but we're going to make it through. And yes, because we're going to review, we're going to review um, Love is Blind 6 reunion. It was good. It, it had some shockers. It was good. And if y'all looking for a good movie to watch, let me just tell y'all this, y'all. I ain't going to be to, like I said, about... 2 33 o'clock but what i looked at on net i looked at two good movies on netflix let me rewind the mind because sometimes my mind don't be hit right i look at two good movies on netflix one of them was called damsel oh my goodness damsel with the young lady from stranger Things, the young lady that played l in stranger Things. she got this good movie with angela bassett Angela Bassett and uh, what's that girl named Robin uh, Robin Wright and Angela Bassett 
and the little girl from um hey sophisticated lady the little girl from um stranger things the one the lead girl called l it's called damsel i'm telling y'all it is a good movie i loved it from the beginning to the end check it out on netflix and then when that went off i was still surfing i wasn't sleepy i ran across this thing called your lucky day man your lucky day was so good it was about a lottery ticket damsel on netflix yes it was good uh, yes and um you, look you check out your lucky day that was a that was and it came out in 2023 i never heard of this movie i ran across this movie but your lucky day was wild and it was about a lottery ticket it was wild, and it was about a lottery ticket. So y'all need to look at your lucky day and look at Damsel. We'll be back here on Saturday. We're going to talk about Love is Blind, but no, I'll be back here tomorrow because it's TGIF, and it's going to be a Friday morning check-in. And with that being said, it it would good. It it, it would good. <laughs> Wait a minute. And sometimes I'll be reading stuff. I'll be like, it would good. That's <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, guys, I am out. I need to take my medicine. I give you guys 40 minutes of my life, and I love you guys. I love our morning check-ins. We are going to be what? Consistent on this channel. Go follow me on my TikTok when you get some videos. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. I done gave up on Snapchat because I don't know how to post no videos on there. I'm just going to leave that to them youngins. But I'm most definitely going to stay on my Facebook Reels, my Instagram um and my TikTok because I'm loving TikTok and I gotta get the love in for TikTok before they may no may or may not take it away. I don't know, it's up in the air. But I just want to let you guys know I am out here and let you guys know you are unstoppable. Live your best life. And I love you guys so much and see you tomorrow on tomorrow morning check-in.